All right. Oh. All right. 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 What's good? It's your boy Matthew Walker. I uh, hope y'all doing good, staying well, staying healthy, all that great stuff. Um, before we get today started, I've been looking in the comments, um, mostly on Larry Bird videos, and I know a lot of people keep commenting about, you know, you got to see the Magic and Larry Bird documentary. You got to see the Magic Larry Bird documentary. You got to see this. You got to see this. You got to see this. And I was going to let you guys know that I have saw it. I saw it. You know what I'm saying? But I do know that you guys care uh, about what I think about it, my thoughts on it. So, I decided to make a video about it. You know what I'm saying? Make a vid, um, um, post thoughts of the documentary. And, uh, you know, we can talk about the comments. Um, watching the documentary, um, First off, I think it was a great documentary. I think um, it was definitely supposed to be made. I'm happy they made a documentary um, because first off, we're not going to see another bond uh, slash rivalry slash friendship um, like Larry Bird's and Magic Johnson's. Um, watching the begin like like everything everything about the documentary, I wouldn't change about it. Everything was great. You know what I'm saying? You got to see both the childhoods. Um, I'm not going to like go through every single part of the documentary. I just want to give my overall reactions. It's supposed to be just a short bit. But obviously understanding, um, understanding how the NBA was before Larry and uh, Magic, you know what I'm saying? So afterwards, Magic and Larry did save the NBA without question, without doubt. Um, I'll say most definitely Larry Magic and Larry saved the NBA and then Michael Jordan uh, made the NBA more known globally around the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when it comes to the NBA being saved, when it comes to the NBA um, getting to where it is today, that is because of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. And not... It, there isn't a better story that could be written uh, with those two. It, like it's like, like what you see in a documentary. It's like what you see in a comic book. Like this, this, these type of things you see in the movies and the comic books. And this, and it's actually planned out like in real life, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real crazy and real, real cool. And um, got to you know saying see you know where uh, Meta Johnson went to Larry's hometown and you know. Um, after the commercial, they got to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? And I know Magic uh, grew a lot of respect for Larry Bird because of how hard of a worker Larry is. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though he got all that money, you know what I'm saying? He he don't go hire a person to mow his own lawn. He don't hire a person to do his things. He 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 do his own things, man. He mow his lawn. He do all that stuff. Um, and that's respect. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, know Magic grew respect of that. And then, you know, I know Magic's, you know, Magic's way of just having people to like him. I know it'll grow on Larry Bird and Larry Bird started liking Magic. But obviously that didn't like carry into the season. When they, I know when it got to the season, Larry Bird was like, okay, nah, it's, we're back to war again. <laughs> um, but that's what's up for real. And that's how you know you got rivalry between someone. It's when, Y'all don't have to talk for like years and years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? And y'all still compete in the highest level because how that's how much a competitor y'all are. You feel what I'm saying? Um, when like when you like practicing in the gym and you putting up a thousand shots and let's say you make a thousand, but then you think about your rival and he probably putting up a thousand to one shots, a thousand to two shots. You know what I'm saying? So it pushes you to keep going so that so that he don't have that. You know what I'm saying? That edge over you. You know what I'm saying? That's a rivalry. You feel what I'm saying? To keep pushing you, uh, to keep growing you competitively, um, to keep to keep making you stay at the top. That's what a rivalry is, man. And those two people pushing each other um, also makes a great friendship for real. And that's that's what's so beautiful about the game of basketball. It's just basketball, bro. 
basketball can solve a lot of people's issues, bro. It's like a it's a therapy session almost. You feel what I'm saying? And um, as long as you don't cheat the game, the game's not gonna cheat you. You feel what I'm saying? And um, there's so many there's so many friends that I've met that happened through the game of basketball. Like without the game of basketball, I probably wouldn't know any of the friends I've met. You feel what I'm saying? And because of basketball, we got to we got to bond and grow a close relationship, you know what I'm saying, over the years. So I know that was beautiful for Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. And one thing that was like super, super heartwarming, bro, was um, when obviously Magic, you know, caught HIV, he was HIV positive, and how like the world just like changed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, it was it was heartbreaking to like hear about magic you know when he go to lakers practices and he's trying he's trying to like he's trying to play like a one-on-one -on -one or something but people not trying to play one-on-one -on -one, bro and that's and it's heartbreaking because like as a person who loves basketball and loves to hoop like basketball's like a gift you know what i'm saying and for you to share your love of the game with everyone else you know what i'm saying that's like one of the best feelings but the fact that you can't that people don't want to play with you like you can't like you can't play nobody like you can't that's like i don't know man that's like like i feel dead you feel what i'm saying because i can't play no one i can't like i i, I work practice all my moves and i can't i can't actually like play nobody i gotta stay to myself the whole way and that's just that sucks man you know and um it sucks that he had to retire. Like, that sucks, bro. Because he was, he like, his, his love for the game is so, so strong, bro. And, like, for you to have a real strong game and, and you know, you get, you get put out, you know, it sucks. But one thing that was super heartwarming was that Larry Bird, you know what I'm saying? Larry Bird did not switch up on him. And Magic got to see who his real friends were, man. He got to see who really cared for him. He got to see who was still there for them at the end. And Larry Larry was there to the very end, man. He didn't care about what Magic had going on. He was still dap him up, you know what I'm saying? Hug it out. Like, they were brothers, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad that Larry was able to do that, you know, for Magic. You know what I'm saying? Because... I could imagine like not one person trying to hit you up, like not one person trying to call you up saying you're good, like not one person. That's really a sucky feeling for real. You know what I'm saying? The fact that Larry did that for Magic, that was suck for real. I got I got a lot I got a lot a lot of respect for Larry, um, a lot of respect for Larry. And uh, I, I was really really glad that Magic was able to come back to the All Stars, and then on top of that, uh, play on the Olympic team with. You know, Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, John Stockton, and them. Uh, I was really glad that he was able to do that because, you know, it gives you a, it gives you a certain feeling to like, you got a chance to kind of like seal seal your love for the game. You know what I'm saying? In an envelope, and that you don't have to like leave the game, leave the game without having to play one last time, knowing that it's your last time. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm, I'm glad that he was able to play and, you know, seeing him and Larry just one last time on the same team. Um, that was real, that was real heartwarming. And obviously, you know, I already know about the retirement speech uh, when Larry retired and his retirement speech and Magic was there, you know what I'm saying? He had, he had Larry's, you know what I'm saying? Larry's jersey underneath uh, his Lakers warm up. And that right there just shows you their friendship. Like when Larry just opened, opened his his suit up, see see his jersey under it, under it. That that shows you their bond. That shows you how close they are. That shows you what they've been through the whole way. That shows you it's a comic book story, man. And uh, that's gonna live. That's gonna live with them forever. And that's never gonna ever gonna go away. Uh, that's never gonna. That's always gonna be with them. So. Yeah, man. Um, I was real glad I got the chance to watch the documentary. It was real nice. Um, and 
I got I got a lot of respect for those two. And I appreciate those two for for always putting their best out there, being ultimate competitors and making the league to where it is today. You know what I'm saying? Because without those two, I don't know where the league would be. I don't know where the league would be. I don't know. I'm forever thankful for that. Real talk. So, yeah, man. Uh, that's that. You know what I'm saying? Um, hope y'all enjoy. You know? But, yeah, that was my thoughts on it. Hope y'all stay well. Stay blessed. I love you guys very much, man. And peace. I'm out.